Hello everyone, this is Sir Weds of the Schools Division's Office of Davao City presenting to you the automated enrollment in survey form with school consolidation for school year 2020-2021. This automated macro-based template is brought to you with the initiative of the DepEd Central Office Planning Service Unit headed by Director Roger Masapo under the leadership of Yusek Jesus Lorenzo R. Mateo, Planning Human Resource and Organizational Development and Field Operations. The template is and should be exclusively downloaded from the Learner's Information System or LIS website and DepEd official pages. Download links coming from the likes of DepEd Tambayan is a gross violation of R88293 otherwise known as the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. That being said, let's begin. First, download your automated enrollment and survey form with school consolidation for school year 2020-2021 file from our official links. Open the Excel file from your laptop. Remember, this electronic template is incompatible with your smartphones or mobile devices since this is equipped with VBA codes, also known as macro codes. The file is saved under .xlsb or binary format to compress the large volume of codes into smaller megabits. If this is your first time to open the file, you will be needing to grant two enabling permissions. The first one will request for confirmation to allow your system to edit the file. If for example, you close this notification deliberately or accidentally, the file will be locked for editing. You will be unable to edit any part of the template. The quickest way to correct this is to close the file and reopen it. The same security request will pop up and this time you will need to click on Enable Editing. The next security request would be to enable the macro VBA coding that is embedded within the file. If for instance you were to accidentally or deliberately close the security request, the Save Data button and Go to Summary Database Sheet button will not be functioning. An error message will inform you that the macro coding is not available or has been disabled. Again, to correct this error, close the file and reopen it again. By this time, there will only be one security request to pop up, which was the VBA permission. And to allow the file to work properly, one should click on the Enable Content button. Now, you can edit the file and use the macro-coded buttons.
sentence in this section may have multiple responses, so please take note of that. When you're done with completing the data of the learner, always double check the items you encoded to avoid errors in your report. And once you're confident with the information you have provided, click the green button that says Save Data. A pop-up information will tell you that the learner has been recorded and is now available in your summary database sheet. You will also see that the form has erased all the data you previously encoded and is now ready to be used for encoding once more. If you wish to see the last learner you encoded, just click on the Summary Data Sheet button and you will have a full list of all students who have been successfully recorded in your database. Let us look into this LRN. 129706-123456 If you encoded that LRN again in our electronic ELSF, with or without any data provided in the other items, and you will click on the Save Data button, an error will pop up to inform you that the said LRN has been used already by a learner which has been recorded in your summary database. This is to avoid duplicate of LRN in your database or clerical error in typing the learner's LRN. You can also delete any recorded information in your summary database sheet. Just highlight all of the cell rows of that particular learner you would like to delete and just press the delete button on your keyboards. And of course, the copyright button. The Department of Education Central Office is well aware that there are some opportunistic individuals who plagiarize forms and templates of our agency and sell it to our teachers. Some use it as a clickbait to entice our field personnel to visit their website and download these files. Such activity is an act of profiteering through CPM ad generation or monetization through file downloading. As mentioned earlier, this is a gross violation of RA8293, also known as Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. Please do not support these parasitic websites that feed from the laborers' hours we dedicated to provide these templates for free to all of you. For those who have yet to be oriented on how to use this electronic LESF in schools, Every advisor of the previous school year 2019-2020 is responsible for completing their learner's extended profile since they are the only ones who has access to their advisory in the LIS. As such, one electronic LESF will be used per class advisor. For example, in grade 1, there are four sections last school year. Therefore, there will be four electronic LESF for that grade level. Each advisor will give the soft copies of the electronic LESF to their grade head who will consolidate it as a grade level master summary sheet or GLMSS. Consolidating this electronic LESF can be done easily by copy pasting the summary database sheet of each of their GLMSS. All grade levels master summary sheets will then be submitted to the enrollment focal person who is assigned under Debit Order Number 8 Series of 2020. The enrollment focal person will consolidate all grade levels mastery summary sheet into one school master file summary. The same electronic LESF will be used by merely copy pasting the GLMSS summary database sheet to the school's master file. For incoming kindergarten, transferees, and balik ada learners, one electronic LESF summary master sheet will be provided by the enrollment focal person which will be submitted to the school's division's office, planning, and research unit. So that's about it. In behalf of the DepEd Central Office Planning Service Unit, Director Roger Masapod, and our USEC for Planning, HROD, and Field Operations, USEC Jess Mateo, this is Sir Weds, reminding all of you to keep safe, Constantly pray and may the Almighty bless you always. Till next time and thank you for watching.